Lesson 7.1, dividing by 2. Dividing by 2 can mean the divisor represents two equal groups, or it represents that the groups contain two. Here we have 6 in all, that's our dividend, and it's divided into two equal groups, that's our divisor. That means we're going to have 3 in each group, that's our quotient. Or it could be 6 in all, that's our dividend, and we have 2 in each group as our divisor, and our quotient is how many equal groups we have. We can divide by 2 with counters to help us find how many equal groups or to find how many in each group. We have 10 counters, and they're divided into 2 in each group. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equal groups with 2 in each group. Here we have 10 counters, and it's divided into 2 groups. We have 5 in each group. There are 12 apples and 2 bowls. And there's an equal number of apples in each bowl. How many apples are in each one? We use 12 counters. We counted out 12 of them. We can draw two circles for the two bowls. And we place one counter at a time in each circle, taking turns, until all 12 counters are used. So we can put an apple in this bowl, and then one in this one, an apple in this bowl, and one in this one, an apple in this bowl, Another one in this one. We keep taking turns going back and forth until we've used all 12 counters. And it's important that we take turns so we know we have an equal amount in each group. We have one, two, three, four, five, six apples in this bowl, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six apples in that bowl. So there are six counters in each of the two groups. So there are six apples in each bowl. Twelve in all, divided into two equal groups, is equal to six in each group. And we can also write it with the division bracket. Twelve is our dividend. That's how many we have in all. Two is our divisor. That's how many equal groups we're going to have. And 6 is our quotient. That's how many are in each group. We can draw counters to find how many equal groups. We have 12 in all. There's 2 in each group. We're going to have 6 equal groups. The way we find how many equal groups is we have 12 counters. We can draw 12 little dots. And we circle groups of two until we have all the counters in groups. So we can circle groups with two in each group. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six equal groups. We count the number of equal groups that we've made, and that's our quotient. We can write a division equation for the picture. Here we've got a picture of three groups, and there's four in each group. We can write that there's 12 in all. We count them 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We know there's 12 in all. We see there's three groups, and there's four in each group. We can also say there's 12 in all, there's four in each group, and three equal groups. The divisor, this number, which is the same as this number, that's also the divisor, they can represent the number of equal groups or the number in each group. We can draw a quick picture to help us find the quotient. We have 3 divided by 3. We have 3 in all, and we need to divide it into 3 groups. So if we have 3 groups, and we have three in all as our counters, we can put one counter in this group, one counter in this group, and one counter in this group, 
How many are in each group? One. For this one, some number is equal to zero divided by five. So we have zero counters, but we have five groups. So here we have five groups, and we have zero counters in them. So how many counters are in each group? We have zero counters. Our quotient is zero. There's none in the groups. We can use related facts to help us find an unknown number. Here we have some number divided by two is equal to nine. We can think two times nine is equal to some number. We can use the related multiplication fact. Two times nine is equal to 18. That means 18 divided by two is equal to nine. Here we have a division problem written with a division bracket. Some number divided by two is equal to seven. We think two times seven, two times seven. We multiply these two on the outside. Two times seven is equal to 14. Our dividend must be 14. We can use related facts to help us solve division problems. When we divide by two, it can mean that we're dividing it into two equal groups or into groups that contain two. And the divisor can represent the number of equal groups or how many in each group. Eight, the dividend, that's how many we have in all, divided by two as two equal groups, that's our divisor, is equal to four. That would be the number in each group, our quotient. We can write eight in all, our dividend is divided by four for each, the number in each group, see? Now the quotient is the divisor, see that? And it'll equal two equal groups, that's our quotient. So the divisor and quotient can trade places, can't they? To represent the number of equal groups or how many in each group. So remember, you need to keep working on your multiplication facts. You should have these memorized by now. And by the end of this chapter, chapter 7, you should have your multiplication for facts for 6 memorized. So keep working on those. We're going to end the lesson with another word problem that has several steps to it. And it's giving us a table with data with information. Our problem says there are four oranges and three of another type of fruit in a bowl. The fruit has a total weight of 39 ounces. What other type of fruit is in the bowl? We know there's oranges, but there's another type of fruit. We look at our table, we see that oranges weigh six ounces for each orange. We can see the type of fruit, we can see their weight in ounces, we can see apples are five ounces and pears are about eight ounces. So the first thing we need to do is multiply the number of oranges by their weight in ounces. We have four oranges, there's six ounces each, we have four times six ounces, that's equal to 24 ounces. We know there's a total weight of 39 ounces for all the fruit, so we take away the ounces of oranges, we subtract the weight of the oranges from the total weight of the fruit in the bowl, 39 ounces in all, minus the 24 ounces for the oranges, is equal to 15 ounces for the other type of fruit. Now remember it said there's three of the other type. Now we need to divide 15 ounces, our difference here, by the three pieces of other fruit to find the weight for each of them. We have 15 ounces left. We divide it by the three pieces of fruit and it equals five ounces each. And we look at our table for the fruit that weighs five ounces and we see it's apple. The other fruit must be apples. What we did was we started with multiplication, we did subtraction, and then we finished it with division to solve the problem. 
many times, word problems will have unnecessary information, information that we don't need and don't use. Do you see the unnecessary information in this table? What information we didn't need to use? If you said the information about the pairs, you're correct. It didn't mention anything about pairs, but it was in the table. We just didn't need it. It was unnecessary information. So remember when we're dividing by two, that it could mean that the divisor two represents two equal groups, or it could represent how many are in each group. And we can use arrays to help us do division and divide by two. And we can write equations, division equations from pictures and arrays that are given to us. I hope you're doing really well. I hope you're very happy, and I'll see you for our next lesson. Bye.